Okay, nice. Okay, welcome everybody. This is a big match from Division 1, Week 5, uh, between Evan Bello at the top of the screen, Elmer Boy, and Oliver King at the bottom, aka Whiskey Burn. I'm joined by Eric Heldon. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. Glad to be here. Mm. Now, now, this match is a big one because earlier today we saw Emerson Lardy pick up the perfect 12 points, which puts him in first place, five ahead of Oliver. So Oliver's got to try and regain the lead this week because he's playing Emerson next week. And to further complicate it, uh, Evan, who's at the top, is in third place. He's 14 points down on Oliver, but he's got a game in hand. So if he can get ahead of Oliver here, like win two games to one or three nil, he can actually overtake Oliver as well with his game in hand. That's quite interesting, actually. Yeah, just setting the scene. So hopefully it'll yeah. be a good one. I'm also kind of um, in a position myself where I could take first place of um, the European League if I do well, but it's going to be tough. That's against uh, Felix. Yeah, Felix right now is, uh, I think, 10 points or something above me, but I have missed a match, which I'm going to do this evening. Yeah. And then tomorrow I have my match with Wolfie, and he has his match. Uh, he has had his match today um, with his opponent. So depending on how we do, I could either come out on top or still in second place. Yeah. Uh, I, this looks like I think in the earlier match did we make a comment that we don't see Roman up red in in the standard match? I think I missed standard previously, but. Um, ah. Yeah, what? Ramana Brett has somewhat dwindled uh, it, in the face of all the zombies. Yeah, I, I think this is actually the first time I've seen it on ca uh, that we've recorded it. I don't know how many are playing it, but this is the first time I've seen it this season. Well, that could be, which would actually kind of surprise me because it was serious. It was a certain period, but perhaps that was before the start of the league where uh, Ramana Brett was winning. Yeah, especially, particularly after the, after the Pro Tour. Yeah, but, actually, I think it's Hyde Point was right before the Pro Tour. Oh. Because then it wasn't, wasn't really a deck that was put on the map, and there wasn't really uh, a count, the idea that you need to be prepared for Mono Red, which was very prevalent in the, the Pro Tour. Is, is Village Messenger, that's not a normal card for this deck, is it? Uh, Village Messenger has been played in uh, a lot of the Pro Tour decks, actually. Yeah. Um, what, what, one interesting uh, point here is that uh, Evan does not have a basic red source, so he's taking yeah. damage every time he taps that running up red, running up ruins. Sorry. Now, depending on the matchup, that might not be important. But a green mana, yeah, black. This is looking like green black constrictor, which is not a good matchup for running up red. That's good for. Um, Whiskey Burn. I think that was Oliver, right? Whiskey yeah, that, Burn? that's right. Yep. And it's uh, Evan at the top of the screen. Yeah, I think for uh, Oliver, he'll like, he'll um, actually quite like seeing um, Ramen up red to this opponent. Yeah, I, I think from the matches that I've watched at SCG and Pro Tour and so on, it seems to be a case of if, if Oliver can get to the, you know, cast the Gear Hulk. Red can't really do anything about it. Yeah, and um, red has some ways to push through damage, but green black has good two drops that are hard to deal with, like winding constrictor or uh, the the life gain vampire. And it's got a good way to go into the late game. Yeah, we see an attack here from village messenger. That's probably representing a shock. Yeah, oh. it's an interesting, interesting move because whiskey uh, Oliver really doesn't want to lose that constrictor. <laughs> he says he doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah, he, he really doesn't want to lose that constrictor. So I, I think it's a free attack from Evan. Yeah, it's interesting because it could be a bluff. We'll see what he chooses to do here. <laughs> and he lets it go. Oh, no, he's, yeah, he's, he's let it go. 
Oh, have you already requested permission to see handguards? Oh uh, no, not we... yet. Let me do that. We'll see if it, hopefully Evan can show us. And we'll yeah, it, it wasn't an empty bluff. Um, definitely have the shock in hand. You can see his hand. Yeah, I can see uh, both hands. I clicked on both sides of the battlefield. Ah. Yeah, it, it never seems to work for me. I don't. I don't know why. It's something weird. Um, so I'll because you're recording, right? I'll. I'll yep. Oh no, I've got it. I've got it now. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, he definitely he's got the sh the shock there. So f for those that are watching, I'm I'm just going to keep the cards at the bottom on whatever whoever is on the play. By uh, default, uh, I can switch back. This is quite good. Uh, the mountain here was quite important, I think. I'm not sure whether he can actually beat um, Oliver's hand here. Because that's yeah, looking quite dumb. Switch back to Oliver's hand. Probably see an attack from everything here. I wonder if Bomat Curry gets blocked, but I don't think I'd... I, I think he I might d fight. double block the Curry Ziv. Uh, that so might be a possibility. The interesting thing is that Garry's then wouldn't die because of the shock and the first strike killing one of the constrictors and only receiving two damage. So I think this is the better play here. See a shock come down here, so he... I think I also would have declined to uh, sacrifice the Bomat Garry here because you just get so much more value out of the shock. And, uh, and he's got the Hazard coming down next turn. Yeah. The Hazard in hand is really a big thing. Although the Grasp of Darkness can actually take down the Hazard. Not to mention that this Voice of Seneca could actually stall fairly well if they were an empty board. I, I feel like Vishka Thema Renegade is going to come down, but he might also wait and play Winding Constrict. Yeah, I, I think he would have really liked to have got another, another land there so that he could play the Constrictor and have Grasp of Darkness. Yeah, that would be perfect, but that would have also needed to be a, a black land, otherwise it would, would have been, wouldn't have been possible. Well, he's got the two green and two black sources at the moment. Yeah, but he needs three black sources to play both Winding Constrictor and uh, hold up a Grasp of Darkness. Yep. So here's Hazaret, but the the Constrictors probably... No, the Constrictors doesn't check it. Grasp of Darkness will take that down next turn. So, so he, always... he, he can get a hit here for with Hazaret. It's a free hit. I. It's interesting playing that land here because, on the other hand, you could have discarded that to damage, but I guess you could also just use it to sacrifice... to uh, start tapping Raman up ruins for damage. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's got the two deserts there, so I think that's the, the avenue he's thinking. This is kind of dangerous for Oliver, because it's going to put him down to six. He does have two yep. deserts, that he, so he's effectively at two, and he's already seen a shock. Yeah, um, you could say he's effectively at two, but the truth is that uh, actually um, it's, it takes a while for ramming up Mm. Ram that ruins to kill him. Uh, but I, I would be almost tempted to block Vrishka here. I think if he only attacks with Hazard, I wouldn't block, because I feel like I can kill him before Ramanap kills me. But I, I do get the temptation. Yeah, but no blocks, so he's going to drop to six. But uh, Evan has a definite three-turn clock. Yes. Of, of course, uh, Oliver's got he, the, the grasp of darkness, but um, Evan doesn't, would actually, doesn't know that. He would actually need to draw um, lands to keep on using the, the clock. But on the other hand, if he doesn't draw lands, that's good for him too. You can see uh, he, he grasps on his own turn there, just before the draw step. He, I mean, he, could, he could have done it on Evan's upkeep prior to draw as well. But then uh, Hazard could have activated... No, he, he didn't have any cards 
if you do it before the draw, he had no cards to discard. Uh, yeah. During upkeep could be done, but um, makes that's basically little the same difference. Match. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think Evans just stalled now. I don't, I don't know if he can. But it can actually attempt an attack to get through a couple of damage. Yeah, he, he he could push three damage right here. More than that, actually. Two, four, five. He'd swing with six. Curry's there would have to be a double block. Yeah, I but... would actually be for the attack here. Yeah, I would have attacked it as yeah. well. Because now I think it's... Yeah, it, the situation is only going to get worse by the day. So, and uh, being able to just cash in some damage and then rely on Ramanap Ruins to kill the opponent seems like a good plan. Now I think we'll probably see a widening constrictor with a grasp of darkness being held up. And we'll see if Evan's going to uh, activate ruins at the end of, this, end of the turn here. He doesn't have enough mana anymore for his village messenger. No, he, he can. He'd have to take damage from the actual ruins itself. So he'd tap the two deserts, the ruins, and the mountain for the four. Oh, I see. It's four plus. Yeah. yeah. Tap yeah. the ruins. And then yeah, I, I think he really he missed the opportunity just now to just now yeah. to push that damage. I think he could have won the match with that. Let's see, v two, four. Yeah, I think um, he would have only lost a uh, falcon at Gorge and if either he'd given uh, dealt two damage, then he'd. Uh, only lost Falkrand Gorgia because the the other was the one token that wasn't really losing anything. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I, I think he because he, 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 he would block the Gorgia and possibly either the messenger probably the messenger over the two ones he'd be taking three damage he'd be at three right now yeah because the the one damage isn't that important compared when uh, the it's done with increment. Oh, and we see a Nissa voice of Senegar being played I, here. I, I forgot about the Pima ability. Yeah. To attack. <clears throat> yeah, I always forget about that ability as well. So he's got the situation here again. He's got Kari Zev, which requires two blockers, which would be a constrict. Well, a constrictor and a plant would just be a chump block. I should look at his hand. So yeah, we'll see what card he's drawn. It's a carry serve. That's not exactly the land you want to yeah, see right now. Pr probably the last card he wants to draw because of its legendary status. But uh, having said that, that carry serve might just prompt him to push, try and push damage here. Yeah. I, I think this is his, his last opportunity. Yeah, I think he'd be in a better position if he had pushed last turn. Yeah, or the, the, when the time we mentioned, was it two turns ago? Or? That was Let's uh, see. I think he's turn. forgotten the legendary status here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whiskey Burn slash Oliver is being happy about seeing this. Yeah, um... Almer doesn't see, really seem to be piloting the deck as good as can be. I wonder whether it's because he hasn't played it a lot or uh, because he's tired or something. Yeah, it's just th these sort of things like playing the carries there, but j it just takes... You know, three, two seconds of taking your mind off and not concentrating to, to miss that point that's going to cost him big time here. Yeah, but like, if you've played a lot with this deck, I feel like you know that thing inside out. Like, mm. you know not to play a carry set. Well, here's uh, a blister. So this is just going to be a blowout now. Yeah. Um, I'll take a look at... Is that... Did you draw a Gearhawk? Yeah. He, he drew a walking oh. ballista for the turn. Yeah, that's... And actually, if we take a look... 
One, two, three, four. Um, so you put it for two, three, four, then minus Nessa, five. It could be a six, six blister, which would shoot down everything. Yeah, and then he could actually use the counters on uh, the, the creatures to tap for green mana for gear hold. So that he can put more counters on walking. He's only cast it for one, so he's still holding up the grasp. Yeah, I think he might actually want to cast the uh, Perjurer's Gearhog this turn as well. Like right. If he now he... minuses Nissa, he can tap the Winding Constrictor and the plant two more mana, then cast the Gearhog. Oh. Yeah, so he, he could, has he got lethal? No, he could actually just use the ballista to shoot down the three, and he's got lethal on board. Yep, so he's going to take game one. 